Hi everyone! Welcome to day five of Gutem Girl Summer. And today is the last day of our session, and we'll be ending it off with some yoga. So we're just waiting for Benny to join our live, and we'll start. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Thank you for actually joining us and we'll have some fun yoga today. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Um, do you want to start off by introducing yourself? Sure. I'm Dini. I'm from Long Island, New York, and I am a full-time yoga instructor. I teach kids, adults, special needs, and seniors. And today we're going to do a little bit of um, a chat about yoga, and then we'll get into a little bit of a um, seated sequence just to get you guys ready for bedtime and nice and relaxed, and it'll be open level so everyone can join. Okay, awesome. Do you want to maybe talk about your journey with yoga a little bit before we start? Yeah, absolutely. college and um, I started as you know as like a hobby just me to do I was living in the city and I needed to you know find things to do on the weekends in college so I joined a yoga class um, I really enjoyed it and then um, I saw that I had like a huge interest in it I wasn't just interested in the yoga part of it the physical asana I was also interested in the philosophy and the spirituality behind it so I expanded my practice, went to meditation classes, um, satsangs, and all these things. And then eventually when I moved back home, I continued the practice, and I went for a training on a whim, just for fun. I got the training done, and I said, I'll teach yoga until I find, you know, a real corporate job. <laughs> but <laughs> um, that never happened. I kept teaching and teaching. My practice kept growing. So um, I said, you know what, this seems to be my calling, and I'm just going to continue this, and I'm able to do what I love on my own time, and ha to have, you know, such amazing clients and students, it's been a blessing. Right, so how long have you been practicing for again? So I've been practicing um, a little over 10 years. Wow, okay, all right, and what does yoga mean to you? Yoga to me really means that it's a union of the mind and body and really feeling that you're in your body. You know, a lot of times we're in our head. We get lost into thought or, you know, into our emotions. And being in your body means that we're able to connect our emotions to our body and um, really feel that we're, you know, we're in that, that vessel. We're not like somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Should we get started? Absolutely. Okay. I'm gonna flip over the camera here so you guys can see me. And we're just going to do a simple seated sequence. Okay. So one moment here. Okay. Oops. should be good. All right, perfect. Okay, guys, so if you want to do the sequence, you can join me on the mat. We're just going to take a comfortable cross-legged seat here. And you can start off by bringing your palms face up on your knee.
Okay, we'll try that one more time. Hi. Oh, sorry, but that's so strange. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start in a comfortable cross-legged seat. You're going to draw your palms face up on your kneecaps and press your sit bones into the floor. Lift your spine up towards the sky. And just take a deep breath here. So inhale, exhale down to your belly. Now we're going to inhale, lift the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, lower the arms down. Inhale up. Exhale. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Inhale up. And exhale. Now you can lower your palms face down on your kneecaps. Inhale, draw the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, chin down to the chest. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Now come back to center. We're going to take shoulder rolls up and back. So you just go nice and slow here, up and back. So the upper body is typically where we hold the most tension because the spine has all the nerves running down it. And it starts right by the neck at the cervical spine. Okay, and then you can reverse, going up and forward. And release. You can roll out the neck, right, center, left and around. And then reverse. Good, bring it back up. Take your right hand to the head. And then bend the neck to your right. Left side. Good. Bring the right hand by the right hip. Left arm reaches over the head. Good. Take it to your left. To the right. And to your left. Good. Gently come back. We're going to get the right arm cross, left arm bend and grab the elbow. And then switch. Good. Interlace your palms behind your low back. So you're creating a fist. We're just going to bring it behind the back. Squeeze your shoulder blades closer together and back. And then lift the arms up and away from your low back. Good. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, release the arms. Inhale, arms come up. Good. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale up through center. And exhale to the right. Good. Come right back through center. And then we're going to do our lower body now. So you can take the right leg out to the side, half the straddle. The left foot is inside the right thigh. Good, inhale, arms come up, and exhale, fold. Good. Slowly come back up, and switch the feet. Inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Bring it back up, and we're going to come to a butterfly. So you're going to bring the soles of the feet touch. Grab your toes, and then fold forward from your pelvis, so the hip area. Just like that. And you're going to feel this in both hips. Good. We're going to slowly lift the spine back up. We're going to bend the knees and windshield wiper right to left. Good. Now take your knees over to the right and knees over your left shoulder. Good. Other side. And then back to center. 
I'm going to turn over here. You guys can extend your legs forward and just shake it out. Good. Thump it out, up and down. This helps to get the stagnant energy going and flowing through the body. And now we're going to do one last thing here. So just point your toes and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex, and then roll out the ankles. Beautiful. And then we could, um, if you'd like, you can lay down into Shavasana, final resting pose. Um, you can place your hands on your belly if you're ready for um, a nap or ready for bed. And that's how we will end our practice for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Awesome. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. This was fun. No, thank you for joining. So that was our final day for Gun Girl Summer. That was like our little twist on Hot Girl Summer. Um, so yeah, hopefully people can find our program very useful and uh, include it into their healthy routines. Great. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Take care. Bye. Bye.